Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing swatches and a look using the new Nomad Cosmetics X Whistler Snow Lodge palette. As you guys know, I absolutely love Nomad Cosmetics. They are an independent brand. All of their palettes are themed after places that they have visited or wanting to visit, so they all have like special meaning to them, which goes well with the name Nomad. Every palette is themed for a country, someplace in the world, and this one is their latest palette. I collect Nomad palettes. It's the one brand that I tried to get all of their palettes. The only one that I didn't get was a mini palette they launched in 2021. I can't remember the name of it, but pretty much everything else they've launched, I've gotten. The palette is a wintry mix of glacial greens, frosty blues, and cozy neutrals inspired by the Whistler Snow Lodges surrounded by the mountainous landscapes. There are seven luxe mattes, seven lustrous shimmers, and two dazzling duo chromes full of snow glow vibes. This one is actually, I think part of this actually goes to a cause, and the cause, they're keeping it local, they're supporting the Winter Community Foundation. So this is what the color store looks like. I have done close-ups of the packaging and of the swatches. The packaging is really, really pretty. You can see that they have all the themes on the cover regarding this Winter Snow Lodge. I mean, everything that you can think of associated with the Winter Snow Lodge is on the cover. Very thoughtful, very well laid out. When it comes to the shades, it's the exact same thing. They always have these really pretty interesting embossings in each one of the shades, which makes the palette absolutely stunning and beautiful to look at, but it also makes you not want to like tap into the shades because you don't want to mess up the embossings. The mattes in here, they blend really well. The shimmers and the metallics, some of them have kind of a shift to them, like that purple shimmer up to snow good has kind of a pink to purple shift to it. Just a really, really beautiful color story. Now, some of the deeper shades look like they weren't swatching very well, like they were kind of patchy. That was not the shade. My arm is like a, was a little bit irritated and I put like some hydrocortisone lotion on it and it kind of affected the way that the shades swatched. They're absolutely beautiful and I'm looking forward to putting together a look. I'm going to go ahead and prime real quick using my Milani eyeshadow primer. For my blush today, I pulled out one of my Be Perfect Scorch blushes. This shade is in Fever. It's just a really pretty mauvey purpley pink. I absolutely love this formula. In keeping with the Nomad theme, I pulled out one of their highlighters. This shade is in Midnight Sun, and it's just a really pretty kind of a champagne -y gold. It's really, really beautiful on the skin. I love Nomad's highlighters. All right, so now I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. It's kind of why I painted my nails in my little blue shirt here. I think I want to take the deepest shade, which is called Smad, in the middle. And I want to go ahead and just lay that down on the outer corner and then slowly start blending. I might have to take Snow Bunny, the lighter blue up here, to just kind of blend it out. But we'll see where we go after we do the Snow Mad shade in the middle here. I'm going to use my dual ended brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to lightly tap the outer corner here. Just want to kind of pack the shade on just just a little bit. Hopefully I don't have like any major fallout or anything. And then I'm going to start blending. And I will say that on my lid, the shade isn't looking as deep and rich. Like it's a little bit different than the shade that I'm seeing in the pan. I'm going to take a smaller, more detailed brush for this. There we go. That's, that's better. Yeah, that other brush was so soft that it wasn't really packing the shade on the way that I was wanting. So that blue wasn't quite coming off the shade that I was hoping for. So I'm just going to take this and then just start softly blending. My husband comes home today for his home time. He's over the road truck driver. He's currently looking for something local so that he can come off the road. But he'll be here in a few hours and we got some errands that we need to run. Now we had talked about possibly moving this year and I had mentioned it, but the more we thought about it, it just makes more sense for us just to go ahead and stay at least for a, another year. The apartment that we are in, it's really big. We like live in a townhouse apartment, but it, it's like a house. We have three really nice size bedrooms like the master bedroom is really a really good size considering that we live in an apartment 
We have three bathrooms. We have an, a huge attic space for storage. The kitchen is really big. There's a huge like living room, dining room space, and the little dining areas where we keep the kids, where we keep my son's toys. There's even a little alcove behind the stairs where the desk fits perfectly. My son goes to a really, really good elementary school, and we're like, we're not wanting to pull him out of that school. He's in the third grade now. We would love it for him to go ahead and graduate there. So our lease gets renewed in August. So what we're going to do is go ahead and stay here at least through at least through this next lease, so another year and a half. We may go ahead and stay after that just so that my son can go on ahead and finish elementary school at the school he's at now and then move. I'm going to go ahead and take Snow Bunny and just kind of blend out those edges on the top. And my daughter is also, you know, in junior high school now. She'll be finishing her senior year next year. It doesn't really make sense to like do a whole lot of movement and stuff, you know, when she's finishing up, like right before her senior year. And then we're also looking for a car for both my husband and my daughter. So there's a lot going on financially, you know, and it just makes sense to just go ahead and stay here for at least another year, possibly two. And since we're going to do that, we're going to go on ahead and get shelves to put downstairs in the living room so that we can get the toys off the dressers here. If you've seen any of my vlogs, you know that we have like a mountain of collectibles above both of the dressers. So this way we can go ahead and take them downstairs. And then I'm also going to get a one of those cube bookshelves is what I'm wanting to get to put my son's toys in. Because if we're going to be here for a couple more years, we just might as well go ahead and set it up the way that we're wanting to. All right. I do like this snow bunny shade, which is that lighter kind of a periwinkle blue there. But the middle shade, Snowmad, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of patchy. And I'm using my Milani eyeshadow base, which is like the best eyeshadow primer. Everything works well with it. I usually don't have an issue with patchiness and blending when it comes to Nomad. But this particular shade, it's just, I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. That happens sometimes at really deep, rich blues and purples and things like that. So I'm not too surprised. All right, now for our shimmers. I'm going to take Ski Bum. This one is kind of a shifty blue to purple. There's a little bit of pink in there too. I'm going to lay that on the lid. And then in the inner corner, I think I'm going to take Powder Specialist, which is the lighter kind of an iridescent shade there. Let's start with Ski Bum. I'm going to go right into it with my brush. I just want to see if I need to wet the brush at all. Nomad has such a really beautiful creamy shimmer metallic you know foil formulas that i usually don't need to wet the brush see just like that beautiful iridescent shade i'm just gonna lay that over the lid I'm gonna blend that into that blue that is beautiful do the same thing on the other side just a really beautiful iridescent purple which is absolutely stunning Take Powder Specialist on this little detail brush here. Just kind of swirl that into the inner corner. And blend that into that ski bum. Oh, okay. In the pan, it looks really icy with like a little bit of a shift, but on, I don't know if you can see, it's more pink. Ooh, it's pretty though. It's a very shifty shade. That's something else about Nomad's shadows when it comes to like their shimmer metallic type formulas. It can look one way in the pan and the palette, but then when you go to apply it, it looks completely different. I'm going to take just a little bit, I think this says Acris Ski, which is like that minty green, and I'm going to lay a little bit on my lower lash line. I went a little bit heavier on this side than I was intending. I might have to fix that. All right, so I think that is the shadow complete. I'm going to go off camera and throw on some liner, my lashes, throw on my lips, and then we will come back and do our final thoughts. I forgot to show you guys the little door sign that they sent. It says Nomad Lodge, Whistler, BC, www.nomadlodge, K 
California. Do not disturb, barely awake, so you can like put this on your door hanger. Nomad is just really thoughtful like that. They like add little touches like this, you know, to their palettes and their collections whenever they launch something new. And it's details like this that just make me want to continue to purchase from them. I just love them as a whole, as a brand. I think they are just wonderful. So in my waterline, I use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Prance. I have to say this one was kind of pulling and tugging a little bit. It wasn't as smooth and creamy as the other ones are. I mean, I have had these, the pastel ones, for about two years, so maybe it's time to throw them away and switch them out or something, but, but I wanted something just kind of bright and almost periwinkle, light blue in my waterline, so that's why I chose this one. For my lips, I lined using my NK pencil in red. I just get these from a local beauty supply store, and my lip color is from AOA Studios. This is one of, I think it's called the Wonder Cover Creams, or Wonder cream lips, matte cream, something like that. It's one of their newer ones. First of all, that packaging is just so sleek. The shade is in Charm. It's just a really pretty kind of a fuchsia pinky purple. I don't normally like like really cool toned shades, but this particular one I thought was really pretty and I thought it would go really well with this overall eye look. All right, so my final thoughts on the palette. Love the packaging, love the whole design. As far as the formula, I only use two of the mattes, well, three of the mattes. These two, and then this one right here. The Snow Bunny blended absolutely beautifully. So did the Apres Ski, which is this one. This one is Snow Bunny, Apres Ski. This one in the middle, which is called Snowmad. This one I had a little bit of trouble with. It was a little patchy. And I've used, you know, deeper shades in other Nomad palettes before and didn't have the issue that I had with this one. I'll play around with it, you know, some more. But that particular shade just, you know, off of first impressions, I was having a little bit of an issue with. Dimmers, the metallic formula was absolutely beautiful. This shade right here is this gorgeous iridescent shift. This shade right here, which is called Powder Specialist, which I put in my inner corner, looks kind of white here, but you can see on the eye, it's like this iridescent purpley shift. Just absolutely stunning. Other than this matte, my first experience with this palette was a good one. Like I said, I'm going to continue to play around with it. I may try if I can find the time to do a couple more looks either for my Instagram or I can also do a couple more looks for YouTube. If you guys would like to see that, just drop a comment down below and I can do like a two looks. I haven't done one of those in a while, but if it's something that you'd be interested in, I could do that for you and you know we could do like a two looks one palette with this particular palette so if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up it really does help the channel if you're new to my channel you're not already subscribed i would love it if you would consider joining my little family and make sure to tap the notification bell down below so you get notified each and every time and don't forget to follow me on my other socials as well i'm on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok all the links will be listed down below be safe Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.